Hello. Um, I wanted to tell um, people about um, a couple of dreams that I have had. Um, and I know that the first one that I had, and I should have, I didn't ever tell anyone this a long time ago because it was just, I don't know why, but it was over about a year and a half ago. Um, this first dream had to do with me being on multiple levels in some kind of a, um, it wasn't a factory, it was almost like a mall. Um, there was a huge production of shoes. I don't know if anyone remembers those gel shoes that they used to, used to be really popular. And I think a lot of this is symbolic, but, um, and they were making those. It was like a, almost like a, um, almost like a factory. They were, they were making those and putting those out. And then I remember being on the bottom level and it looked like it appeared like a loading dock and there were more shoes that were different. And, um, I remember putting some of them on, they were really nice, like leather slip on shoes. And I remember putting them on and I was to go help here on earth. Um, I know this dream sounds so crazy, but I, that's why I didn't want to say anything because it was just really weird. Um, but I stepped off and uh, of this, like a platform. And I don't know if it, it was like a building, but it was like, almost like it was hovering. It was really weird. Um, and this area that I walked on, it was kind of like um, um, one of those, I can't remember what you call them, but they go like when you're walking from land to a boat dock and you walk on this, um, it's a man-made structure and you walk on it. It's not a jetty, I don't think, but it's something similar, but it was underwater. And I knew that the water was really, really like it was, um, toxic, like it was full of bacteria. It almost looked like it was yellow, um, like some kind of nasty, like soup type. It was disgusting and like it was soured. And at this time, it was uh, early 2013, because I was woken up in November of 2012. And um, it was, the water was coming up over this bridge thing that goes out to a dock. And I saw on the left side of me, all of these boat, what appeared to be boat docks, and they had been strung together like it was a city on this water. And there were people living on here and I know that people, they could get in the water, but if you, like, ingested the water, then you died. And I remember when I was walking along, the water was coming up over my, kind of over my ankles, and I still had my shoes on. And uh, I remember seeing a dog, which looked like, like a golden retriever, but it didn't really look like a dog anymore, but yet I knew that it was still alive but it was not that anymore. It had changed into something else. It was underwater and it was like this thing. I don't know what it was. Um, I'm sure you're probably gonna think like I'm on drugs or something. I, I'm not. <laughs> I do have really crazy dreams, but this one I know was from the Lord. Um, I'm not any kind of a prophet or prophetess, but a lot of people are seeing vis having visions and dreams, which is prophesied in the Bible at the end times. So, um, I just know the water was really nasty. That something had happened, some kind of contaminant had gotten in there and it was bacterial. It was disgusting, it was, it was alive, whatever it was that was in there. And I know people were in there working, like working on, I don't know if they were biologists or what they were, but they were able to swim in the water, but you could not ingest any. So I don't know what the people on the docks were drinking, but all of a sudden I was on that area where those like boat docks were strung together it was almost like a town on the water. It was really just so weird. Um, and I remember also seeing, I, they had food to eat, but I don't know what they were drinking. And I remember seeing, um, but I would say are like uh, one of them, um, uh, the first, what I saw on the right on one of the docks was like a puppet show. It was really small, almost like a shadow box, but bigger. And I knew it was a puppet show and there were little like doll type figures on there. Then I saw it again, um, and I don't know if it was the same one, but it was another puppet show and it was on the left. And I saw what looked like a 
um, like it had a piece of wood over it, but it had been broken. Like it was a barrier, but it had been broken. So that, like a, maybe a veil that had been broken. Um, I do remember seeing all kinds of shoes, again, flip-flops all over the place. A lot of them had been damaged. It was just like they were all over this <laughs> boat dock. And I still don't understand what all of the dream was, but I know that um, I think it has to do with, um, you know, the, the, the bitter waters that are talked about in uh, the book of Revelation. And at that time, I had not read all of the Bible. I have now, but at that time, I really did not, I had just really been woken up. Um, praise the Lord Jesus. So, um, anyways, um, I just wanted to let people know about that dream because there's something in that water and it looked yellow. I mean, it just looked yellow, like it was really like a soupy type yellow. It, it was nasty, like it was acidic. Um, and you couldn't drink it. Um, just recently, I had a dream about, um, I was at a mall, um, this was maybe a couple months ago, maybe, and um, I remember seeing, um, like um, I could see on this side, there was a really tall woman. She was not good looking or anything, she had kind of uh, sandy brown, I don't know, kind of light brown hair. It was pulled back, um, kind of country-ish looking. And I know that she was walking through the mall. I don't remember what she was wearing, but I remember she was really tall. And in my spirit, I thought nine feet. She was huge. And I looked on, I could see this, her right hand. And I could see two thumbs, and then she had four fingers. And the thumb would look like it was, it, it was just a deformity. But she was really tall. In fact, she was walking at a steady gait, but she was passing all the people that were like coming up to her waist or coming up just right above her waist. She was passing them like at a steady gait. I know she had a sister, and I knew that in my spirit. I just knew um, she proceeded to go to a restroom in this mall, which I don't know what mall it was. It was like in the middle of the mall where this restroom was. And her, and she went in there, and her sister was standing out like standing there almost like she was keeping guard it was really weird her sister was regular size she was very um, not real feminine looking in appearance she had shorter hair and I knew in this dream that there was incest going on and I'll probably get a lot of scrutiny on this but it is what it is that's the dream that I had and I feel like it has something to do with the Nephilim um, as in the days of Noah so shall it be in the coming of the son of man so um, Anyways, this person, when I saw the really tall woman, I knew there was something really, really, um, oh, like there was something degenerate about her. Like it was really dark. Like it was um, really, really like twisted. There was something wrong. And it wasn't anything she was doing. It was just, I felt it in my spirit. And then, like I said, later on, I was placed like what I perceived as a public restroom in the middle of the mall, and she went in to go use that, and her sister, and I knew there was incest going on in this family, and <laughs> it really, really weird, but I believe that one, too, was m more of a prophetic dream. Um, anyways, um, sometimes it takes me a while to put my dreams out, because I kind of have to veg on them and, and think about them and go to the Lord. But I decided now is the time to tell people um, those two were dreams. They weren't closed visions. They were dreams. But, you know, I have dreams of my own. Um, for a while, I wasn't able to remember my dreams. But now I can. But I know what's mine and something that's really sent from up above. I'm not. I'm one of many that is having dreams and visions. And there are those who are, who are also speaking falsehood. I'm not. This is just what I saw. And um, oh, also in my spirit on that second dream that I told you about, about the really huge, she looked like she didn't have any kind of a, um, 
you know, hormonal problem that would cause, you know, a lot of people that are really tall, they have um, a disorder with their hormone, um, like with their, um, I can't remember what gland it is, but they have some kind of a problem with that. She didn't. She looked like she was just normal. She was thin and tall, but she was looked like she was strong and just walking right along. And she, she, something was really wrong. And I saw two, what appeared to be two thumbs. The other one was like looked like it was coming off of here, and it was longer. And then she had four fingers. And I just knew that was the way her hands were. Um, but I was going to say, um, um, oh gosh, that left my mind again. Oh, and my spirit that these people will surface. And I think it meant like literally surface. In my spirit, they're gonna surface. So it doesn't just mean oh they're gonna come out of the woodwork. They're coming from below and coming to the surface. Anyways, um people are gonna think I'm crazy, but I wanted to put this out and tell people. Um Anyways, I hope you have a blessed day um, or night, wherever you are. It's night here in Kansas. So, um, anyways, um, blessings in Jesus Christ. And please, everybody, um, turn to him now if you haven't yet. Um, we're all working out our salvation with fear and trembling, those of us who are in Christ and he in us. And that so being, then we're in the Father as well. Um, so, repent because the time is drawing near. Um, there's so much that's happening right now and in our world. Um, there's so much Satanism right now, so much demonic influence and such a war on Christianity. And there's so much falsehood in what we call the church congregations. Um, it's Luciferian doctrine. You know, the prosperity gospel is not of God, people. Please wake up. The prophets and those who were disciples and the disciples who were apostles and they were also considered many of them prophesied um, they had very hard lives they were thrown into prison time and time again they didn't have you know a lot I mean I don't have that much I live in a one-bedroom apartment I've been here for several years I have more than probably they had so I, they the stupid prosperity gospel is coming from the pits of hell, people. And there are many people out there, the shepherds who are starving their flock. They're heaping all of this money on themselves while they're feeding people lies, telling them, if you give money to me, God will make you prosperous. Well, the prosperity of the kingdom of heaven is not anything to do with your money. It has nothing to do with, he is bigger than that. It has nothing to do with your having another motorboat and jet ski and two houses and more than one vehicle and God is an all-consuming fire and he is a refiner and he purifies and tries the brethren he purifies and refines over and over and over again and he humbles I remember Apostle Paul described having a thorn in his flesh he went to the Lord three times and the Lord said I'm not going to remove it my grace is sufficient for thee. Besides, it keeps you humble. So, you know, sometimes people need to learn to suffer a little bit more. Um, Jesus suffered for us on the cross. Um, I know, you know, I've been through some health issues and problems, and the real faith comes with realizing it's up to God. Unbeknownst to most, it's the Father that gives us our faith. So the New Age Doctrine says that you have the power. Well, actually, Christ has the power. And the propaganda of today tells us you make your own way. Well, it's God's way or the highway. That's the reality of it. And it also tells us just trust in your own heart. Well, that's contrary to what God tells us. He tells us never to trust in our own dark, deceptive hearts, that they will lead us astray. And you can see that so much right now. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You can see it with the relationships right now with people. Um, broken broken homes and it's not to pass judgment but we are to use judgment all the time it's called sensibility Jesus never said turn a blind eye to sin whether it be yours or someone else's so um, anyways I'm getting off track here but I just wanted to share those dreams and um, 
blessings to you and I hope you have a very safe holiday um, Jesus is coming soon so just be prepared and really prepare your heart if you're holding any grudges against anyone this is what some of the things I've been dealing with and struggling with um, it's time to let it go um, to release it give it over to the Lord Jesus ask him to help you he and the Father are one. It's one God, represented in three different ways, covering all dimensions throughout time and space. And the Lamb that was slain, our Lord and Savior, He's coming back as a lion. So He is coming back to judge. So please, people, get ready. That goes for me, that goes for, but I'm not going to sit down and tell people I just need to get myself together first. I just need to still get myself together, then I'll, then I'll profess the gospel. No. Here am I, Lord, send me. I'm not immune to any of this. And if he can save me, then he can save you too. So he is who he says he is, and he's coming back. Amen.